What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 101 and I have to say this is the weirdest unboxing I've ever done. Um, this is a uh, airsoft gun in a cardboard chip box apparently. So this is the box and this is the rudder or something, I can't tell exactly what it's for. Uh, but we're going to box it with this, just kidding, we're going to box it with this jank old knife that my grandpa made. I honestly have no idea why this, oh there's a hole in the bottom, it makes a little bit of sense but this is definitely the weirdest, I've had some weird packages, but this is definitely the weirdest package I think I've ever received. <laughs> that makes sense. He freaking put the barrel through the... Whew. Oh, that's funny. That is... That is unique, if I say so myself. I have never seen that ever done before. I mean... Just, oh, the upper receiver is pretty long. It's a, it's an M16. That is freaking funny. So yeah, guys, got this unboxing. I actually traded this for my G and G F2000. Um, I have not shipped the G and G F2000 yet because I wasn't sure if this kid was legit. Um, but I'm trading this to him, just sending it like this, giving him the high cap. Um, there's supposedly, I don't know what's wrong with this. This gun shoots great, but I think there's a little bit, like something's wrong with the feeding. But he also said this gun is having some feeding issues too. And he just wanted a new gun, so that is why we traded. And it's got another box inside of the box. Um, we got some magazines for packing. Honestly, the weirdest box I've ever seen in my life. He kind of did a good job of taping it in there, I guess. So props to that. But yeah, this is AM16. This is a Echo One Platinum M4. I have never had one of theirs before, but I like M16s. Like they're cool builds. And I saw that it had the Magpul um, MOE grip on this and the full stock. And I was like, yep, I'm down. I'm down to trigger. I haven't had a long gun for a while. And I just kind of like the look of the M16. So here's the upper. You got standard. It's actually a fairly nice metal barrel, metal body. Kind of ugly iron sights, I always take these off because they're huge and they're kind of ugly. Um, just a standard flash hider, understand flash hider, I might even just give him back this flash hider. And then, wow, long heavy brass barrel, so I got a g, &G hop up unit. Um, kind of looks like the bucky might be a little tore up, but we'll see real quick because I, I, like, I understand that it's not working. Charging handle works fine. And then to the lower. Oh, Standard, really, really light high cap. Wow. AOD 1. I don't even know what brand this is, but this is the lightest high cap I've ever felt in my life. The battery looks pretty nice. I don't know. This is Echo 1 Platinum USA. So it's, it's got to be the Echo 1 metal body. Selector switch is nice. I should go ahead and throw this together real quick. There's the, that's the wrong pin. That's the front body pin there. So front body pin holding the back of the rear body pin in. When you get trades, one of the things you, got, you guys have to understand, when you get airsoft trades, I'm sorry, I'm used to a PTW. When you get airsoft trades, you like aren't always gonna get guns that are like completely working. So this is a front body pin that happens to go in the rear and like it works fine, it's just, Front body pin, but if it's together nice. Oh, it is. Fuck you, Cool, cool little gun. I'm excited to use this. I don't know if I'll fill, I'll field this or film this, uh, me playing with this, but I'm sure I'll get some of it. I think it's rewired. I know. Yeah, rewired. Tamiya, small Tamiya. It's a pretty nice gun. I'm super content with this. I like the GNG F2000, but I like the M4 platform a lot, and I've, it's been a long time since I've had like a true M16 platform. I mean, this has got the 20-inch the barrel on it, it's got a full stock, it's got the, the long MOE handguard. These MOE handguards, for how cheap they are, are very, very comfortable, I just really, really like them. I, I like have no problems with them. You can, if you want a front wire gun too, and you want to run like a, a smaller stock, you can fit so much in these. Um, like the Magpul MOE carbine that I had a long time ago was front wired and it had the, the MOE stock, the MOE grip, MOE front handguard, and it just like it was wired to the front and I could fit a 9.6 1600 in there easy every day. It was pretty cool. 
Just want to get this short video pretty quick. I'm actually heading out to California tomorrow. So this is going to be, this is like my last video home. I'm going to do some cool videos in California. I actually just filmed a huge unboxing video again and I got this beast. I just want to shoot it on camera because it's so cool. Listen to this. This thing is, is like loud. Loud, loud, loud gun. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111 with an M16 unboxing and the ugliest package I've ever seen. It's been great to see you guys. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. See you guys later.